How's it going? Charles Boatenston here. I was uh, just watching a video on London Real, which is on YouTube, and there's this guy named Jacko Willink. I'm totally butchering his name, but his name is Jacko Willink, and uh, he's a former Navy SEAL, and obviously from many of the books behind me, um, like this one, you know, I love my SEALs, I love my military, and things like that, and obviously the American flag, American flag. <laughs> But he was just talking about how people want things now. You know, they want it now. And then he brings up Amazon Prime. He goes, people want it in like an hour. And it's true. If you think about it, people are so instant gratification. So what does that mean? Like people always bring it up. They're like, oh, it's not good to be instant gratification. You need it. You, consistency, the process, things like that. And it, and it actually got me to thinking, and as I've mentioned many times, you know, Tony Robbins says the quality of your questions equals the quality of your life. So I started questioning, I said, why, why is the best question? Why do people want it now? Like what about now is going to make your life better? Like why do you need something immediately? Why do I need, you know, I don't know, whatever I order on Amazon, I'm trying to look around for an example. Why do I need this book now? Like now. You know, what, what's the difference between now and tomorrow or now and later, like within an hour as opposed to, so number one is the reason we want it now is because there is an option to have it now. And that's the instant gratification is that we want it now because it's just more convenient and we have the option to do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But then we correlate hard work and money and our body and our health and our relationships like right now. I go online and I want a girlfriend. I go on match.com, I go on Tinder or any of these other apps. And you want you want a date, you want a girlfriend now, you want a wife now. Okay? And I'll 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 talk about it a little bit more. You go to a job, you want millions of dollars right now. You go to the gym once, you want ripped abs and to be benching 275. Okay, great. Okay. So then here's the question is like, I already answered why we want it. But then the, the further question is, if we get it, or say we get it, say we get exactly what we want. And this is a question that I put below. There's, there's a question called the 20 questions to ponder 20 powerful 20 questions. It's in the link below. It's in my Profile And one of the questions is, what if you get everything or what if you get a million dollars or $50 million? I forget what the amount was, but you could see it on the link. What if you get $50 million tomorrow? What would you do next year? What would you do next year? And it's the same thing. Ask yourself, if I get the wife that I want, the girlfriend I want, the boyfriend, the husband, the children, the job, the money, the body, is it really, is it really about that? Is it really about that? And I'm going to question you that it's not. It's the person you become. And I know this because when I started reading all these books, well, actually not these books, but the books that were there on the shelf before I uh, sold them, you know, the hundreds of books that I read before, the thousands of YouTube videos that I've seen, in the last 10 years when I started my self-development process is who I am now is completely different. But if I became the person I am now when I first started, would I have appreciated it? You know, it, it, it goes to think. It's like, what if I have everything? What if you have everything you want right now? Like it's literally there. All the money, the health, the body, the money. Honestly, seriously, think about this. You're like, oh no, my life would be complete. Really? So that means your happiness and your completeness, if you want to say, is on external things. And you know what I think about external things. External things like money or looks or a bag or a car or a house or a job or money or a relationship. That's all external things. Think about that for a second. What if you had it all? All of it. What, who would you be? Would you be any different? Say it was just given to you, would you be any different? You'd be the same person, but with those things. You know, they talk about lottery winners. Within two years, most lottery, most lottery winners are broke. 
That's why I always recommend whoever wins the lottery, you get it spaced out along your lifetime and you don't get it as a lump sum. And I just had a client. He got a windfall of money. And you know what his financial advisor says brilliantly? He goes, have that money sit in your bank account so you know what it feels like to be rich. Brilliant advice. Because that's like you get the body, but you don't have the habits. You get the money, but you, you, you still spend overspend. You have the wife, but you don't know how to keep her. You don't know, you don't know how to interact with someone that is beautiful and brilliant and intelligent and healthy. You don't have that. You don't have the intelligence to do that. It's like becoming the president of the United States. You didn't go through what they needed to go through on the campaign trail to get the confidence to influence, to convince, to uh, public speak. You know, it's like anything. It's, it, it's not the end goal because there is no end goal. And, and I know this is more of a rant on, I don't even know what, but it's not the end goal. And it's really hard to even wrap your head around this. And it was really hard for me to actually wrap my head around it. And, and I have a tough time even now thinking about it. It's who you become. It's the, 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 the confidence is not that you have that wife, that husband, that car, that house, the money, the boat, whatever. Whatever you want. It's not the confidence that you actually have it. Maybe instantaneously, maybe, you know, you get a new iPhone for like a week, it's cool. But you know what? It's the, it's who you became to obtain that house, to have that perfect relation, not the perfect relationship, but a, an incredible relationship, a passionate relationship, or, to, or the confidence you had because you actually built up yourself to get the wealth to attain that boat. You know, it, it's like the perfect example to actually say is, Children that don't need to work for anything. They, they grow up in a very wealthy family. And I have tons of friends that I grew up with. And to be honest, they're losers right now. They are straight up losers. Because they ne never needed to work for anything. And their parents just had tons of money. They gave them everything. Their car was like, their first car was a BMW. Their second car was like, if they didn't like it, a Mercedes. Like, I remember this ridiculous story. This girl didn't like the color on her Mercedes, so her parents got her a new one. What, what is that saying? What is that saying to the kid? Or, okay, great. You have that external thing, like I was just saying. Oh, you want it? Here's your car. But you're the same person. You didn't work for that car. You didn't work for that relationship. You didn't work for that job, that health. You know, someone that actually has an amazing physique, that goes to the gym consistently, is confident, more confident, because they know they had to eat correctly, they had to wake up early, they had to stay at the gym, they had to be disciplined, they had a process. And this is just another thing as well is, uh, for myself, one thing that I need to get in my thick skull is, and obviously it's the words you use, uh, my, thick, my head isn't, or my head isn't thick, or it's, my skull isn't thick, or whatever, I can easily learn that psycho-cybernetics right there is, is correcting the language that you use. But the process is more important. The habits that you get, the, the continuously, you know, someone brilliantly said it uh, on a video, is they said, the sunrise and the sunset is very boring. The, the actual process, but it's beautiful because it always happens. You always know that the sun is going to rise and it's going to set. It's either cloudy or not cloudy. So think about that in your own mind. You know, when you're hungover, when you're tired, when you've gone 30 days in a row to the gym, is that the sun, whether there's cloud cover or not, is always, is always working. It's just a rotation. It's just every day. This is your day. And you need to fill in your day with the proper processes, the proper habits, the proper systems to make you be successful. Someone mentioned this... Uh, Forgot his name, the, the, the rich dad in Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I, I, I met him and uh, bought his program. He's a brilliant guy. I heard him speak a couple of times. Uh, Bill Cunningham, I think it's Bill Cunningham. I don't know, something Cunningham. And he said, getting rich is not sexy. Getting rich is not sexy. People think that they see the end product of this person cruising around on their boat, parking it and going to a five-star restaurant and then getting into a car and going to the Ritz. 
Yet, to get to that point was not sexy. You're looking at him at the end goal. You're looking at someone that's physically fit on the cover of a magazine, the end goal. Getting healthy, getting that relationship is not sexy. You know, so think of the things about instant gratification that you want. What instant gratification do you want? I'll give you mine. Right now, money is part of it. Body, not so much. I would say also the business, just a very successful business. But I know that the processes that I have in place is going to, these YouTube videos, I have what, 500 and something subscribers, you know, multiple people are like, dude, you should have more subscribers. It's like, okay, like what, what do you want me to do? Like say I had a million subscribers. This is a perfect example. Say I had a million subscribers. Am I ready for the negative comments? Am I ready for the criticism? Am I, am I, am I ready for everything that comes with having a million subscribers? You know, I would argue yes and no. You know, the content I put out, maybe it's not good enough for those million subscribers. Or maybe the quality of just talking into an iPhone in my living room while watching videos on, on a weekend. Uh, uh, smart videos, by the way. Uh, getting smarter. Maybe that's not good enough for people at a million subscribers. Maybe they want more. They want a microphone. They want a nice camera. They want good lighting. They want a studio. They want, you know... So that's something to think about. Is like, what things do you want right now? All right? So have an awesome day. I could go on a rant. Um, and I do, actually, on my podcasts. I'm going to be putting out another podcast tonight. And hope you guys are awesome. I, I can't say enough for all the comments, all the, all the love and the support I get. Uh, I really do this for you guys, and I also do it for myself. It's like 50-50. Selfishly, it's a little bit for me. So I remember, and I check myself, and I hold myself accountable. Because if I'm saying it, but I'm not living it, that's like a politician. They say it, and they don't live it. They say it, but they don't do it. You know, And that's why I don't like politics. But not to leave on a bad note. Have an awesome day. Think about things that you want instantly. But if you got, would you be able to handle it? Would you be able to hold on to it? Would you be able to deal with the fame? You know, it's those people that de- that get famous. You know, uh, Dave Chappelle. He had to take a couple of years off because he couldn't deal with the fame. It came so. It came in an avalanche. Anyway, all my social links are below. Snapchat. I'm actually destroying Instagram uh, podcasting, and I put out a daily weekday post. All those links are below. Subscribe to the video if you haven't already. Share it. That's the only way that I can, you know, I guess get more subscribers. I have no idea. I'm not going to go too over the top on that. Have an awesome day. Talk to you guys soon.